Hey guys, what is up? It is DJ Eccentric here from the Q Point, and today I'll be showing you how to level up your live DJ streams using OBS Studio and Twitch. Alright, there's a few things that you will need. One will be a Twitch account, which I'm sure you already have. Secondly, you'll need OBS Studio software, which is a free software. And thirdly, is any audio or video capture devices. So anything such as webcams, sound cards, just to get the audio and video happening for your DJ stream. So first things first, let's get the OBS Studio software. So you can download this from obsproject.com. Today we'll be using a Mac system and we'll let that download and we'll install it. So when you open up the software, it looks like this. Basically, you've got your preview screen, which is this area here. You've got your scenes, your sources for those scenes, your audio mixer, and your streaming controls here. All right, so let's get started with creating a scene. So first thing we need to do is uh, we've got a scene here already. What we need to do is add sources to that scene. Now, if you click on this plus button here, you can see the sources that you can add. Audio input, output, a browser, image, video capture, and a few other ones there. So what we'll start with is video capture device. So as the name suggests, you could add a video capture device such as a webcam, uh, a camera, there are other options. Um, you can use like an iOS phone, which will talk directly to the software and act as a webcam. So if you've got old iPhones lying around, you can use this. So let's add it. Say webcam, you can name it whatever you like. And under the device, you can choose which one. So you've got the onboard webcam and we have the external webcam. Let's choose that. And you can see me, yeah, just for sample, right? Click OK, and there I am. Peace. So what we can do is we can then move it around, resize it using these toggles in the corners. Let's say you want to be, if you want to be full screen, you can. Now say we want to add another view, let's add another video capture device, which this time we'll make onboard webcam. There we are, with our crazy lighting. Now you want to add some branding to the page as well, right? So let's add our logo. So just for this example, we'll add an image. And let's say logo, okay. And we'll choose the logo from our files. And just like the webcam video, you can resize this as well. This is actually a PNG file. So it does have a transparent background. So you can overlay it and it's just the logo itself and you can move it wherever you like. Now the other important source we need to add is your audio. Um, there's a lot of DJ streams out there who are just using the ambient noise, using the mic as an input, and it doesn't sound so great. Not for your viewers or your audience to keep them engaged and listening to your whole stream. What you want is a direct line in. In this case, I have a Behringer Zenix mixer with a USB interface. So I've got a direct USB line in to the computer. So what we will do is add input capture. And I'll just put Behringer mixer. And it should come up if it is installed. Yeah. Check two, one, two. Okay, you can see that's working. And there's some signal. I'm actually recording 
from this mixer as we speak. Now it's very important that with your multiple sources, if you have webcams, it would add other audio sources too. So you need to make sure those other sources are muted as you can see here and that your only active source is where you want your sound to be coming from, which for my case is the Behringer mixer. Um, if you have them all enabled, you will get feedback, you'll get echoing and it's not very pleasant. Now, before we start streaming, we need to connect our Twitch account to OBS, which we'll do through settings. So if you go down to stream, Twitch already has their default settings. Uh, as you can see, you could have Restream, Facebook Live, Mixer, YouTube as well. But in this case, we're doing Twitch. And all you'll need is the stream key. Uh, so what you can do is go to click get stream key. And if you're logged in, it will take you straight to the page. And this is all you need. So we'll copy that. And paste that here. And we're good to go. If for any reason you need to go there manually, just click on your avatar in the top corner, go to settings, channel and videos, and your stream key will turn up here. Now, if you want to have multiple scenes, you can simply click the plus button here for scene two. And again, add your sources. Let's say I want the webcam as a full screen. There I am again. Let's add my logo again. Oops. Let's put it right on my face. Cool. So now you've got two scenes to work with. So when you click between them, these are your two scenes that you can click and switch between during your stream. If you click studio mode, you can preview the previous screen and what will be the next. And by clicking transition, it will transition to that screen. Now, some of you will say, hey, I haven't got a USB interface. I haven't got a sound card. I haven't got a mixer to plug in for a good audio line. That's all good. Uh, most MacBooks these days do still have a audio jack, a uh, headphone jack. All you'll need is to use an TRS to TRS adapter, such as the Rode SC4, which you can get for about 20 bucks to convert the signal into a line in, which is basically using the mic as a line in. Um, you can use that, but you won't get the good quality that you would as opposed to from a sound card, uh, but it still works. So that's the basics. There's so much more you can do. You can add a green screen, you can add filters, you can add animations. You can put a Twitch chat box overlay on the video, which I might explain in, a, in another video. And that's basically it. So have a play around, you know, use the start recording feature, record your own streams just to test out how it looks and how it sounds before going live. Do a few tests with some friends to see if there's some some audio issues or any delays. Um, otherwise, if you have any questions, feel free to pop into the Q Point Facebook group. It is a community of DJs helping DJs. So any tips, tricks, advice, or help that you need, we've got a whole group of DJs in there to help. Enjoy streaming. And I'll catch you around.